Ladies and gentlemen, this is your teacher, Mr. Briggs. Uh, I'm sorry you have to actually see me, okay? Uh, I know that puts you through a lot of distress having to see this, um, especially early in the morning. Trust me, I've, I've broken every mirror in my house. Um, what we're going to do today is a really quick lesson on finding the best possible volume for our surface area. In fact, that's our learning target for today, is that I can find the best volume for the surface area. Okay? It's kind of hard to read because of the video quality and where I'm pointed. But what we're trying to see is, is there some magic shape that will hold a whole lot of stuff without being very big? Have you ever gotten inside a really tiny car? Okay? I do that every day because I drive a really tiny car. You get inside this really tiny car, but it seems huge. You're like, wow, how did this car fit so much stuff in it? Okay? On the other hand, have you ever seen something like a box or something and try to fill it full of stuff and be like, man, that doesn't hold anything. Okay? It's not very big at all. Not really. It looks huge, but it's not. Um, well, that's because there's this weird relationship between the size of something and its surface area. We learned that. We learned that something can hold the same amount of stuff, but be different sizes. Um, it can use more paper or less paper, uh, depending on how you arrange it. And we're going to kind of look at that connection today. And we're going to learn that connection today using a really great tool, uh, but one that gets misused a lot. And that, are, that is uh, these things right here. These are our unit cubes, right? we got all these wonderful little unit cubes. Uh, each table should have 24 of them. And the point of this lesson is that the ATC toy company, uh, this one company, is producing a series of children's blocks. You know, like the blocks that have A, B, C, D written on them, right? And they are one inch tall, one inch long, and one inch wide. Okay, there are 24 of them in a box. Now, there's different ways we can make those boxes. Um, some of the boxes are going to be bigger than others. Some are going to use more paper than others. And we want to save some trees, right? We want to do a really good job of making sure that we have used the least amount of paper, right, to make our boxes. But we want it to hold all our stuff, okay? And there is a magic number we're looking for. We're going to do the first two together in this video um, so I can show you how it's done, and then you'll go ahead and you'll do it on your own. Okay? Let's get started. First off, I'm going to do just, I'm going to be just a total jerk about this and be like, okay, I got 24 of these blocks. <laughs> I'm going to make a box that is 24 units long. I'm going to take all these suckers, all these blocks, and I'm going to put them all in a row. Okay? I wonder if this will even fit on my screen here. Oh, just barely. It is 24 long. It is one tall. It is one long. It is one wide. Okay. So this box. Can you just imagine buying this box? This sitting on a shelf in a toy company. It's just, you know on a shelf in a toy store. This big long stick of blocks. But hey, that's my box, and it does work, right? So let's go ahead and figure out if it's a good box or not. And we're going to do that using this table. Now you have a version of this table on your worksheet. This is going to be the first two of them, okay? So follow along, we'll do the math together. Alright, for our first one, this box, the one I made, was 24 long, okay? 24 blocks long. It was one block wide, it was one block high. So 24 long, one wide, one high. Make sure you copy that down. Then, the next thing I do is I figure out the volume. Because we need to figure out, okay, what does that actually hold? So, I do 24 for my length. Uh, one high, one long. One times 24 times one gives me 24 inches squared or cubed. What do you think? Squared or cubed? Well, it's three-dimensional, so it's going to be cubed with a little three on it, okay? So we got 24 inches cubed. Then, what I'm going to do is figure out its surface area. And remember, surface area is going to be a whole lot trickier. And to do surface area, we use our surface area formula, which I have right here. 
and we have to make sure that we are putting the proper things in our surface area formula. Uh, we got width times height. Well, it is one wide, it is one tall. We have width times length. Well, it is one wide, it is 24 long. And then we have to do length times height. It is 24 long, it is one high. Now, let's multiply. One times one is one, plus one times 24 is 24, plus 24 times one is uh, 24. And one plus 24 plus 24 gives me what? Use a calculator if you need it. Uh, but I know that 24 and 24 is 48, plus 1 gives me 49. But that 49, remember, is only half of our shape. Because remember, if there's a front, there's also a back. If there's a top, there's also a bottom. If there's a right side, there's a left side. Right? Yeah, something like that. So we have to take this and multiply it by 2. Use a calculator if you need one. I'm not ashamed to use my calculator. Try again. Okay. It is 49 times 2. Gives me... Dun, 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 98. 98 inches squared. Okay? 98 inches squared. Now, why is it inches squared? Because remember, this is 2D. It's flat. It's cardboard. We're just putting it together to make a box that just happens to hold stuff. And now I have to sketch this out to prove what this box looks like. And I'm going to make a sketch. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a long, skinny box. I'm going to make some lines on there to make it look a little 3D-ish. And I'm going to make sure I label it 1, 1, 24, so that anybody could remake this box if they needed to. Okay? That's the trick to this is can we duplicate it? I should be able to go to take your notes and go backwards and make what you made. So, let's do the second one now. I want to do a different box. I want to see if I can make a box that uses less paper and saves some trees. Let's do that now. So I have my same 24 blocks here, and I'm going to rearrange them. Hmm, how can I rearrange this into something that's different? Well, I can uh, take it out there and just move it around. That. It's got to be a perfect box. Um, okay, that's not going to work, um, let's do, hey, 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 I got a box, okay, I got a box. Uh, what, what are the shapes of this box? Well, this box is, obviously, this box is three by one by one, two, three, four, four, by eight. Three by one by eight. So... I'm going to go back to my sheet up here, back to my table, and what I'm going to put in is that this is 8 long, right? It is 3 wide. It is 1 high, okay? 8, 3, and 1. Now, we need to figure out the volume. I'm going to erase what I've got here, okay? My volume, remember, is width times length times height. So width here is 3, oh, length is 8, and height is 1. 3 times 8 is 24, 24 times 1 is 24, and that makes sense because I was using 24 blocks. That didn't change. So 24 inches cubed. Let me fix that. Okay, 24 inches cubed, right? Because it's a 3D shape. Now let's figure out surface area, see if that got any different. So, taking a look at our surface area formula, my width is 3, my height is 1. My width is uh, 3, my length is 8. My length is, how long is this guy? 8, its height is 1. 3 times 1 is 3, okay? 3 times 8 is 24. And 8 times 1 is 8. All right. And let's go ahead now and add those together. 3 plus 24 plus 8. I, again, am not ashamed to use a calculator. Maybe a little. 3 plus 24 plus 8 
gives me 35. That makes sense. Okay? 35. But remember, there's an extra step to that. There's a front, there's also a back, there's also a top, there's also a bottom. And 35 seems really small to me. So I have to multiply that by 2. And 35 times 2 is 70. Right? So check that out. 70. 70 inches squared. This saved a boatload of trees, right? We used so much less cardboard to make this box. And why? How? Who knows? Your job then, guys, well, first, your job is going to be to draw your box here, and I'm going to draw my box here. It is one high, it is three long, it is eight wide. Okay? I've drawn my box. But now, your mission, guys, is to take a look at your, at your blocks. And remember, not to use these blocks as projectiles, not to use these blocks as things that we build big towers on. Uh, you will be asked to leave the room if you do that. Your job is to try to make as many different boxes as you can and find that magic box. That magic box that holds all 24 of these, but uses very little paper. In fact, the least amount of paper we can saves the most trees. Okay? That's your mission. And once again, your goal is to find the best volume for the surface area. Okay? So have some fun. Ask some questions. Uh, talk to the people at your table and see if you can't make the best one. Have fun.